Hi everybody, Steph here and welcome back to the channel. Um, today I am back. I know I said I was going to be back ages ago, but just life got in the way. Um, work, I'm okay, everybody's okay. Um, but yeah, I've just had a lot of things going on and to be honest, I lost my way a little bit with me crafting. Um, so yeah, so I'm back today to show you how to make this gorgeous box. It's a chipboard cover. And then this is just cardstock, the inside box. Um, I made one of these for Amy and Laura for Christmas. And, you know, a few people had asked me if I'd make it do a tutorial for it. So I thought I'd come on and show you what I've done. Um, this was, I must say, it was heavily inspired by um, Michelle Allen, who was a creative operation here on YouTube. And she done a tea in wonderland gift box which was this sort of concept it was different sizes um so i just made the sizes me own and yeah absolutely love it it's gorgeous as a gift box and um, which i'll probably use it to gift me mum some of our birthday goodies this year um but you could use it for storage i mean how pretty would that look you could even have it as a photo box and just pop your photos inside so i'll just show you what it looks like just got a couple of enamel dots on here i've used this beautiful beautiful ribbon here it's like i got from wilkinson's ages ago i think it was out of christmas range it's like an iridescent pink it's beautiful and then the sides are all the same and then you just open the bow and this is what it looks like so you've got, i've got the feather paper on the lid it's absolutely stunning i was going to stick a cut apart on there but I mean, imagine you could turn this into like a little jewellery box and you could get some of them four mirrors and you could put like an awesome mirror card on there. I think that would be really nice and you could section it if you wanted to. Um, the inside I've kept the same and the cover and the inside the same as well. And I mean, the cardstock I've used is only 200 or 220 GSM, so it's not the strongest, but I've double matted every single layer of paper on here. So we've got some pink um, by studios and then the paper so yeah this is what we're going to be making today and if you want to see how it's made then please stick around and the tutorial is coming up next right so now that you've seen um me walk through of the finished project let's get making it so i'm going to show you um the paper pad that i've used and it's this one here. Now this I've had in my stash for absolutely ages. And yeah, it's a nightmare. But me, Amy and Laura, who is Mrs. Stationery and stuff and all things crafty with Amy here on YouTube, have came up, we're doing a, where we write project ideas that we want to do and pop them in a jar. I got these ones from Asda, absolutely love them. And then I've got me, some of my paper pads in here. And that's what I'm using to determine what projects I do next. I'm hoping that it will help me use my stash and stop hoarding as much because I am so bad. But this one's by Prima and it's called Rose Quartz. I'll give you a quick flip through. It's absolutely beautiful paper. It really, really is. Um, and yeah, I just thought it was perfect for this. I might actually use this for my mum's birthday present in May. So, yeah. That's the paper pad that I've used. And first what we're going to do is we're going to do the chipboard covers. Now I've prepped quite as much as I can just to try and keep the video as short as I can. So I'll just pop them bits to one side. Right, so what you're going to need, you're going to need two pieces of chipboard. And these measure, I'll hold that there if you want to write it down is seven and three quarters by seven and three quarters and you need two of those and then you also need one piece which is seven and three quarters by three and a quarter now i've already went ahead and i've already covered this one so for your card that you need to wrap these pieces for the larger piece you're going to need this one here and this measures nine and three quarters by nine and three quarters and obviously you need two for each piece um, and this one is to cover the spine and this one measures nine and three quarters by six and a quarter and you just need the one okay so 
what I'm doing with this is I'm doing the lay flat method. Um, it's a method that I've seen loads of YouTubers do and it's actually my preferred one um, now. So this is what I'm going to do. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to use my glue. And I'm just using my art glitter glue. It's one of my favourites. Well, it's my go-to glue. I do use the tonic one as well um, occasionally, but I'm going to be honest, this one is the one that I tend to go for first. Don't know why. Um, I just absolutely love it. It sticks really well. And, yeah, it's just my preference. So then you can measure it so it's equal on all sides. But I don't, I don't bother doing that. Um, I just eyeball it so it's got roughly an inch. Okay. So then flip it over and we'll just give it a bit more of a burnish. Now you can feel where the end of the, the when the chipboard is. So just use your bone folder and just score gently down there. And it gives you this sort of effect, okay? So you could just wrap it as you normally want to. If you don't want to do it this way, then you can just do, you know, any other way you want to wrap your chipboard, then that's completely fine. If you want to just do it where you fold it over. Um, like I said, this is my preferred style now. This is what I like to do. Um, so it's, it's my go-to when I'm wrapping chipboard now. So then that makes it easier to just want to fold and burnish on all four sides. You've probably seen this done a million times, so I won't be offended if you want to skip through the video a little bit until this bit's done. Next, what you want to do is you want to cut away your corners. So you just want to leave so it's about an eighth of an inch, just like that. And then do that on all four corners. Sometimes I tend to angle mine a little bit as well. It doesn't really matter as long as you've got that about an eighth of an inch on each corner. Okay. Let's move the rubbish to one side. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop glue. I'm going to run a bead of glue down next to the chipboard and then cover this bit. And then we're just going to fold them over, okay? Don't forget that once you've got them folded down, just get your bone folder or you can use your nail and just bring that corner in. And then what that gives, it gives you a really nice, like, flush corner, okay? So rather than just watch me gluing all that down, I'm going to pause the video and then I'll come back once that's done. Right, so now we have our two, like our top and our bottom. Um, piece of chipboard covered. So now onto the spine. Let's take that off and put it over there. So this one, um, as you can see, it's got a lot of a bigger gap than what the other ones did. We've done it so it's an inch top and bottom, and then on the sides it's about one and a half inches, and that's just to use to attach that to our top and bottom. Okay. So I'll do this one with you. How is everyone doing? Um, I know it's been a while and I said I was going to come back on more frequently and I haven't. I've just had a lot of stuff on work and then just oh, just loads of things really. Um, but I'm okay. Like I am. I am. Um, so I'm hoping to get back into crafting a little bit more. I haven't really been crafting as much really. Um, well, hardly as any. Um, it, it has been... I sort of lost my way a little bit with crafting, I think. Um, I think I was trying to come back a bit more than what I was ready. Um, but I know you like this box. Um, and you said you wanted a tutorial for it. Um, when I Because I made the ones for Amy and Laura for part of the Christmas gifts. And I know Laura wants me to do this one as well. Um, so, yeah. So again, doing it on the outside. Let's just come and fold and burnish that over. I'm going through these sides as well. I can't remember if I normally do. I can't remember what I've done when I've done the other ones for Christmas. Um, but yeah. Right, so what we're going to do first is I'm going to cut away 
the corners you can leave them on and just do them over and then cut actually i'll do it that way and i'll show you so what we're going to do this these top flaps you want to add your adhesive adhesive of your choice whether it's double side tape whether it's glue anything that you prefer to use make sure you get right up to that um that chipboard as well and then just bring that over i'm going to use my other bone folder for this part i like the shape of this one to get in and what you want to do is you just want to push in like that okay make sure that gets it right into into there see where i've done that crease and then just do the same on the other one so make sure that it's going in nice and good and that it's you know where it needs to be and then we're going to do the same on the bottom so it's exactly the same measurements if your mind's eyeballed it is the same measurements um oh and then just put that down make sure you get a nice stick and then push that down make sure it's all nice and secure make sure you get right into that groove there as well okay and that is what we're going to be left with so now what you want to do is from this corner here as close as you can and then just mitre and this is just so we won't see it when we attach it side and then again because all the insides are going to get covered anyway so you won't see any of that on the inside move, move rubbish and then like we said this is now what we've got so now what we do is we're going to i just like to go over this line again just make sure it's nice and crisp we're going to attach glue to this sorry if you can hear the scratching in the background it's my pussy cat he's being naughty <clears throat> he's trying to get into the box of goodies i've got for laura so yeah sorry about that we're going to just attach that and we're going to go quite close up to that and then we're just going to glue it on so it's straight okay might be warned me cats come on, on again and i've got a feeling he's in a bit of a naughty mood he's in a bit of a weird mood lately actually he's okay but i think he's just getting old and he just doesn't want to socialize with the cats and um, he's getting weighted on hand and foot because he won't come downstairs and eat his food with the other cats um no not at all um so i mean he is coming down on the stairs now to have his food which is better than what it was i was having to come up every day and um, before work after work make sure he's getting fed i have to sit in the room with him but i mean he's fine in himself there's nothing wrong with him or anything um i think like i said i think he's just getting old so as you can see that does fold right over and i'm using that to my advantage to glue that down okay and it gives you that sort of edge there which i really like i love this edge absolutely fab so then all i'm going to do is i'm going to do it on this one i was going to parge this but it won't take me long just to glue this bit down so again just on the other side don't go right up to that score line for any glue that oozes out just makes it easier it'll still stick so there's plenty of glue on there and then coming in with this being a square box you don't have to worry about um it not being what side goes where because to be honest the it's a square box so it doesn't really matter so i tend to just let it sit a little bit and then i'll pick it up and just make sure that it's flush sorry i don't know you can see just make sure that that's nice and flush and then just press that down with your bone folder now i think i'm forgetting to cut a piece for the middle but that's okay we can do that i can do that on camera oh, i can do pauses and do it so there we go 
that could be a perfect start for an album but in this case it is going to be the surround for our box okay so i can pop that to one side because we're done with that now um oh actually no yeah we are i'll do the box next i was going to decorate that but i'll decorate it last um so i don't forget the ribbon <laughs> sorry about that one oh i'm a bit all over but it's okay right so next on we have got our inner box okay so i've got one piece here i've got all the measurements wrote on this little piece here so this big piece here is seven and a half by seven and five eighths okay and then you need four of these pieces which are the sides and then these you need two that measure eight and one eighth by three and three quarters and you need two at eight by three and three quarters and then on each of these you want to score them i'll leave that leave that there you'll be able to see it there if you want to pause it so on each one it doesn't matter what which one the different sizes all you want to do is pop it in on the long side and score it half an inch and then rotate it once and then do half an inch again on the bottom okay and that's it for your box because we're going to pop this together separately so pop that piece over here we're just going to fold and burnish on these score lines now this card isn't as thick as the one i used for the box for amy and laura and um, this one i think it's only 200 gsm but it is one of my most favorite black cards um i think this is american crafts i've had it a while i'm running out now um but another one i used to always like what i used to get from create and craft was the linda chapman's um that's a really nice card as well but i think i might have to start ordering from somewhere like lime tree crafts or paper mill direct but the thing is i don't like really heavy cardstock to wrap my chipboard because it's got it stands more chance of um warping okay right so now we're gonna just do a couple of little cuts on these side pieces and they're all going to be exactly the same so all i'm going to do is just cut off a corner okay and then we're just going to notch at the side and then again just going to take a sliver off that so then I'll put it this way so that is the sort of shape that we're going for okay almost like a bit like a pocket but it's not a pocket obviously so we'll do the same on all of these oh maybe went to cut the wrong piece off there i should have had these ones prepped shouldn't i <laughs> I never thought about doing that. I've prepped all the paper. I've matted all of the pattern paper. So I just have to stick it on. I never thought about doing these. Not to self, remember that for next time I do a video. Hopefully, I will try my best and come into one a week. Or even if I don't, it's not a tutorial. I'll try and show you what we've been making. Um, what things I've picked out of my jar. Um, and show you what I come up with. Because a lot of things I have got specific... Um, tutorials by people that I want to do um, obviously there was far too many for us to put in my jar for it to fit so what my idea is once I've done it take it out and then once I get like down a little bit in it then I can start doing the other ones right so we just need to work out see what sides which okay so you can tell because there's only what an eighth of a difference is it different seven and five yeah there's only an eighth of a difference in these so you're just going to have to line them up at the side and this is all we're going to do here so then we're going to get i'll put two pieces on and then i'll do the rest off camera rather than you sit and watch me how to because it's all going to be exactly the same sometimes what i tend to do i'm just going to stand that up so i can feel where that score line is obviously you don't want to go over the score line i'm going to go up to the score line oh, not going over actually we'll just light down so i can see and so you can see as well yeah 
Ink it. For any bits of glue, just wipe them away. And then just make sure I've got the correct size. Is this the one for here? Well, that's the larger one because we've got two larger ones and two shorter ones. So making sure you've got the opposite side. I hope this is making sense. I'm sure it will be. Like I said, you've just got your two different sides that you need to make sure is going on the correct one. And that's basically it. So then when I glue these on, I'm going to attach them, I'm going to pop glue on the tab. And do this one with you. Excess glue, and then just bring that up as if you would with any other box. Looks like my measurements have gone out a little bit, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Sorry, I didn't mean to come off camera there. Okay, and then we're just going to attach the other two pieces. So, this one here, which is the smaller side, yeah, this one's the smaller side. They go on the two opposite sides and then the two longer ones go adjacent to each other as well. So I'll put the video on pause and I'll be right back. Right, so that's the box all done. Now you can see because of the card I've used, it does look really, really flimsy. Um, but we're going to fix that with our mats. So I'm going to show you what the sizes are. So you need four of these mats, okay? And these ones are... The card, which is the pink card behind, is seven and a half by three and one eighths, and then the pattern paper is seven and three eighths by three. And on your two longer sides, they're going to I'll just line up so you can see it. They're going to go on there with just an eighth of an inch border, and then also one on the inside as well, which will strengthen this up quite considerably. So that's for this side and this side. And then for your two shorter sides, exactly the same mats. We've got the pink cardstock, which is a tonic cardstock, in case you're wondering. And the card is seven and three eighths by three and one eighth, and the paper is seven and a quarter by three. And then they're just going to go on there like that, and on the inside. So you'll need four of those as well. Okay. And then for the inside, let's make sure I've got this right. I might have it the wrong way there. Yeah, that's going to be our liner piece. So we'll just take that out. And the card for this is seven and a half by seven and three eighths. And the paper is seven and three eighths by seven and a quarter. So again, I know I've done a lot of pausing in this video, but I'm going to pause it um, just so I can stick all of these down. And then, yeah, we'll get it brought back to you. We'll cover the outside and then we'll get this stuck on with the ribbon and stuff as well. Okay. Right, so that's everything covered now. And you can hear that as, as an off strengthened the box. There's no point putting anything on the bottom because that's going to be glued to the cover. And talking about the cover, um, I forgot, I did, forgot to do a piece because I need to cover this part here. Now this is a piece of scrap and I'm just going to use all of this. You don't need as much as what I'm using here. But it does need to measure 7 and 5 eighths by, let's have a see. I'd do it about 6 at the smallest just to give you enough. Um, but because I've got this piece of scrap here, I'm just going to use this one to pop down so just put all your glue on which way did I have it is it this way yep so just make sure I'll try and get it as equal top and bottom as you can and then we're just going to give that a good burnish. I mean, what I would suggest that you do 
is to put this down before you start doing the inner box if you're doing your cover first and um, it just makes it easier and um, gives it more time to stick down okay i'm just going to run my bone folder down that crease and then find the crease on that one might need to make sure you put a bit more glue on and just burnish that down until it's stuck okay and then the same with this side as well if you do get some bubbling just continue to burnish it and that will go away or you can just come in can you see that little bit there so i'm just going to use my nail and i'm just going to put a little bit more glue in there it's okay if it oozes out over the side because you can just wipe that away with your finger i'm actually impressed i might enjoy my hand and not my claws <laughs> that's not me my go-to trick right so i need another little bit down this bit probably just didn't put enough glue on in the first place and just press that down and then wipe that off okay now what we're going to do because the idea is shall i find which side it is goes this way one second is that right it doesn't seem to be fitting properly i don't know why Maybe because of that paper. Bear with me one second while I'm just um, messing about with my bit self. Hopefully, I, I think I've done it right. Yeah, I have. We'll, we'll just cover it anyway and we'll just, we'll just go with the floor. Okay. So, before we pop, I'm just going to put my glue on there so it keeps it down with that box in there. Before we put our pattern paper on the top and before I give you any measurements, we want to pop some um, ribbon. So I think, let me just see which one I'll put. Two different ribbons. I don't want to go with this one here. No, we'll go with the first one. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop some double sided tape down, just roughly in the center. Put down a couple of pieces. Oops. And then just burnish that down. Let's take off the release paper. Just gonna I always take off more than I need. Um it's this ribbon I'm using, I got it from Wilkinson's, I think. Yeah, yeah, Wilkinson's. And it's just I don't know if the light's gonna show, but it's like oh, a little bit there, it's like a beautiful, like iridescent ribbon. So, like I said, you can see I've got far too much on here, but I'd rather that way. I'd rather give myself too little. Uh, too much than too little so next we just want to pop some double sided tape over the edge over the top of the ribbon just to keep that secured down and then we can just make sure that's burnished take off the release paper Need to burnish a bit more. Me trying to get onto this uh, double sided tape is um, it's not working very well for me at the, oh, at the minute. Not to do. Burnish that down really well. And there we go. Right. <laughs> Finally, get rid of some of those loose threads. And this is what I've picked for the cover. So you'll need 
two of these with the papers because one's going on the outside and then one's going on the inside and then you'll also oh i think i've used the wrong piece of card for me base but inside i'll have to come another one you'll need a third piece of the card so the card is seven and five eighths by seven and five eighths and the paper is seven and a half by seven and a half okay so what we're going to do this is just going to go on the top just like that And then this will give you an eighth of an inch border all the way around. Now about the good thing about using um, oh, I can't even remember what I was going to say. <laughs> yeah, the best thing about using glue, liquid glue, is that it does give you that time to, you know, um, adjust it if you need it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'll pop this one on and pop that on here. And then before I stick this base one on, I'm going to pop some more ribbon on. I need to cover another mat because I silly, very stupidly, you, this was supposed to be my mat for this one. Um, so I'll do that and I'll be right back. Right, so now I've got the ribbon attached. I've got these covered this one there's no pattern paper going on this one because it's not going to be seen and um, because that's where the box is going to be sat so just to get me measurements up again I can't remember if it was this side yeah it was that way so if I'm hold it this way so what I'll do is just pop your loads of glue on the bottom don't be afraid to be generous you can use your double sided tape if you want to, you can use whatever it is if you want. Um, I hope you haven't minded this video. I feel as if, I always say I feel as if my videos are a car crash, but I really hope that you enjoy it and I hope you can grab the concept of, you know, um, what I'm doing and I hope you like what I'm doing as well. Um, I really do. Um, it has been a long time since I've um, since I've done any tutorials for you. Sorry, I was too busy um, concentrating. Um, but yeah, I have missed it, and I've missed talking to you all as well. Um, so I really, really have, and I'm just really hoping and praying that this idea that myself, Amy, and Laura are doing about you know picking out from our jars, and that we actually do that project. Um, I'm hoping it, it will mean that, you know, um, we do use our stash a lot more. Oh, I needn't have covered that one. So you can leave off the back panel if you actually want to. Obviously, I didn't think of that. I know it seems like I'm putting too much glue on, but I just want this to stick. I don't want it to go anywhere. So like I said, I think I'll be giving this one to my mum. It's her 60th birthday this year, so... I've already got some bits in for her, um, and I think she'd like this. But it's not just a gift box. This would make a really, really nice um, storage box, like I said previously as well. Um, store some bits of ephemera in there. Um, you know, I mean, you could even pop some of your 6x6 paper pads in here, as long as you're not going to like, just yank it up and stuff. Your ribbons could go in here. Anything could go in here, really. So then... That's the basis of the old box. I'm just going to tie this up just so I can get a rough amount for a bow. Who's who's been up with me channel for a while? You know, I always complain when I have to make a bow. Um, especially on, I mean, I'm not the best at it anyway, but on camera, it's even worse. I think just everything's like that, isn't it? Right, that'll do for the time being. I can always tidy it up when I come off camera. Right. Like I said, far too much ribbon. Right, so we have got this back piece here to mat. And this is the piece for that. 
and the card is seven and five eighths by three and one eighths and the paper is seven and a half by three i'm not going to mat the base i mean you could if you wished um but you know i'll, I'll not really be looking at the base of my project um i just love it these are really fun and easy to do i might not have made it the same that way with my video um but like i said i, I love this and it was heavily inspired by uh, michelle allen like i said at the beginning um she done a tea and wonderland box and i took the concept and i just changed it to the sizes that i needed um really um and that was for the gift boxes for the girls for christmas um so yeah so the last thing i'm going to do you'll be thankful to hear is i've already prepped this and these are cut aparts that come with the collection i've already mounted used some of my spare chipboard i don't like to waste it so i'll use it for um dimension just a really good way especially for these little bits where i'm not going to use them um i tend to use them for basically other people use card and stuff i use chipboard as well so i'm just going to pop that in the middle no it's not quite might be a little bit off and i don't know i've grabbed out a selection i don't really like them ones mm, they could go some little hearts on see some of these jammies are just really mm. I think I'll stick with some of these ones, these doodle bug ones. And all I'm going to do is just pop a few of these ones about. And I'll probably regret this once I've put them down. I'm, I'm very, very indecisive. And yeah, it drives me crackers. <laughs> it really does. Um Just have a little cluster of three there, and then we'll do a cluster of two here. I don't know if I've just spoiled it, but it'll be okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to stop like that for the time being. I can always add more. So that is um, my box with the chipboard cover. You open it up, and there we go. How gorgeous is that? Now, I want to thank you all for sticking to the end. I know it's been a long video, um, but I do appreciate it. And thank you very much for watching. Please, if you have liked this video, please give me a big thumbs up and like the video. And yeah, hopefully I'll be back soon. Bye.